cruise season is upon us. And I'm about to show y'all how to, you know, sneak a little liquor on a cruise ship. You know what I mean? First off, you can get something like this off Amazon. You know, little shampoo and conditioner. Tabs to seal it up. But I'm going to show you something a little bit sweeter, though. As you may know, everybody allowed to bring one bottle of wine on the ship per passenger. But I don't drink wine. You know what I'm saying? I drink 38. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you how to turn this wine to 38. All right, first off, you got to easily take this off without messing it up. You know what I mean? So, give it a little, some little twist and, twist and pull. You know what I'm saying? And voila, you know what I'm saying? We got this off still intact, you know what I mean? Now, you don't want to go ahead and uh, take a, crew, a corkscrew and put it in there because it's going to be a hole. They're going to they gonna rip that off. They're going to look and see if it's got a hole or anything in there. So what you do is, you know what I'm saying? You're going to take this dime right here, right? You're going to sit the dime right on top of there. You know what I'm saying? You know it's got some tools or something. You know what I'm saying? You might want to do this in the kitchen or, you know, have something big to pour the wine in because once this cork go in there, you want to hurry up and pour whatever out because once that cork hit that liquid, it's going to swell up and it's going to be hard to get back in. So we're going to hurry up and pour it out and then uh, I'm going to show you how to get the cork out and everything. Empty bottle with the cork in there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we're gonna take, get you a little Kroger bag, right? Stuff it in here. Get that cork off in the side, right? You know what I'm saying? Get that cork off in there. Then we're gonna put a little air in here. I don't put this toothpick over there. You know what I'm saying? Get that cork caught up in there. And we're just gonna pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Now you got your cork, you know what I'm saying? No hose, perfectly intact. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. No, let me rinse this out. Right. Turn it off. After you rinse your bottom, I'll get you a little funnel. You know what I'm saying? Now you take what you want. Me, I'm taking 38, but you, you take whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Get you a little funnel. You know what I mean? Now you know what I mean? Be careful for that little spillage, but it could. Preferably you want a dark bottle too to you know blend it a little bit. You know what I mean? Now you know if you got a clear liquor, you know what I'm saying? Get you some food drops, you know, drop a couple drops of a yellow in there, you know what I'm saying? The, like if you got a little uh green whatever, light color wine, you know what I'm saying? But me, I'm gonna drop a couple couple little drops of red in there to try to even though it looked good but you know what I'm saying just to give it a, give that all overall redness looking like some dark wine you know what I'm saying a couple little drops you know what I mean oh now you know what I'm saying dry your cork off you know what I'm saying? No, no damage, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Push that motherfucker back in there. Voila. 
You know what I'm saying? No damage. Cork in there. Sealed up great. Finish it off with your... You know what I'm saying? A little twist. And voila, you know what I'm saying? Now you now you got your, your 38, you know what I'm saying? But you carrying this on and you carry on as a wine bottle, you know what I'm saying? Save a couple of dollars, you know what I'm saying? I'm, we got wine bottles, we both got a wine bottle. Then we both got this. We, we gonna drink good, you know what I'm saying? For the for the low low. You know what I mean? Another open another bottle. Like I said, I'm gonna use dark for the dark. Yeah, you know, 38, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Same process as before, just throw it in there, face up. A good tighten. Like. Little goose, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use the white for the light and the dark for the dark, you know what I mean? Fill him up. If you fill it up, all you do is take your little tab, put it inside the cap. You know what I'm saying? Tighten him up. A little pressure sensitive, you know what I'm saying? Then, <sighs> take it off and uh, silt like it ain't never been open, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>